are talking about the best and worst ways to beat your energy slump. Kim says she's a huge coffee person. Just how huge of a coffee person are you? How many cups a day? I love it. It's like four to five. Four to five? Four to five. A Throughout day. the entire day? Throughout the entire day. I'm in love with crema. So, I mean, <laughs> coffee and crema is like my best thing, my best meal of the day. Are you jacked up now? Um, a little bit, just a, just a tad bit. Over, right. I have to go and get some more. <laughs> so I, want you, I want you and everyone out there to, to rethink how you imagine energy. Because I think we've got a, a false promise coming to us sometimes when we take right. all these extra things. So let me draw you a little picture. This is actually what most of us have for our energy these days. Now, your baseline is somewhere in here, but you get this big peak when you take a little bit of caffeine, then it'll drop into a cratered valley, then you go back up again with some sugar, you crater back down, up and down, up and down all day long. You get the high, but it doesn't last. So when you crater down there, down that valley, when you've crashed, right. what does it feel like? It doesn't feel that well. I feel like I don't have much energy and I need another cup of coffee. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's why I have so many because I get to that point where I'm just like totally tired and can't do anything and I feel like, let me brew some coffee. Here's my thought. Yes. There are better ways to do this. We can revitalize our body to use natural energy stores in our minds as well to take the ups and downs into a new stable place where you don't have the, the valleys and right. it's actually higher up. Right. Because the thing with a lot of these supplements and crazy things we put in our bodies is they're actually making withdrawal from your energy bank. Wow. But it's your energy they're taking. Yeah. Instead, use natural source and build it up high. The question is, how do you do that? You know, instead of having it fizzle out, how do you maintain it where it needs to be? Here's what I did. I pulled together a team of top energy experts and I sent them out to you. Their mission, to share the best energy pick-me-ups that won't make you crash. I call them the Energy Squad. Nutritionist, Carrie Glassman. Eating lunch that's too big can contribute to feeling sleepy in the afternoon. But I have a simple remedy to help you beat the afternoon slump. Fitness trainer, Donovan Green. Going for a walk around the block might help to clear your mind. But if you're looking for a bigger energy boost, have I got the right trick for you? and psychotherapist, Dr. Mike Dow. The people we surround ourselves with really can have an impact on whether or not we feel depleted of energy. They're my trio of experts who will teach you how to fight fatigue with pick-me-ups that won't make you crash. First up, the coffee shop, where people are lining up to get rid of their afternoon slump. <laughs> Hi, girls. Having your afternoon coffee? Yes, yes. yes. girl, it's needed. It's, it's, it's needed. needed. Is it, so are you ladies Java junkies? I can't go a day without having coffee. Fully addicted. This is what I need every day, three times a day. So this is what you normally do at this time of day? Absolutely, we call ourselves the coffee clutch. Well, the this coffee clutch, we okay. Well, I, I like the hanging out together. Did you know that the caffeine in coffee that most people think of as giving them energy actually isn't providing energy, it's a stimulant. So you might feel a little more revved up, but it's not real energy. But what if I told you that there's a natural way to up your energy for that afternoon slump. I don't know if I could give up my coffee, but I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll give it a shot. Your remedy to that afternoon slump, ice cold water. 60% of our body is water. So if our body is not hydrated properly, we feel well, lethargic and tired. Cold water helps lower our internal body temperature faster cooling us off faster, helping us feel less lethargic. You're going to feel more energetic. You've fueled your cells. All right, ladies, I got something for you. Some nice cold water. Here, drink up. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Next up, Donovan Green showed our ladies how to get physical to boost on, their energy. Go. I'll show you how to get your energy up. We're gonna get it up higher than coffee. And guess what? It's gonna last longer than coffee. We're gonna perk your body's natural energy with HIT is short for high intensity interval training. The idea of HIT is to get your heart rate up. It's gonna increase your metabolism, but here's the fun part. It's a 60 second time frame for the exercise. You wanna go as intense as you can for 60 seconds and rest for 15 seconds. It's active recovery. Y'all ready? Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a jump rope first. It's called speed rope. Let's go, 60 seconds, go for it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go. Mountain climbers. You hit the deck, legs up, you move. Go, 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 go. Remember ladies, your energy comes from you. You're getting those blood cells up, your heart rate is up, your cardiac output is up. Next one, front raise, outside, come back, squat, you come up, down, that's with the dumbbells. We got this? 
How we feeling? Great. How we feeling? Awesome. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Dawn is here. Apparently, her co-workers argue that if they were to cut open your veins, coffee would drip out. That's true, unfortunately. Love I'm a little scared after all of the things that I've heard so far. So this hit, this exercise that Donovan was showing you, have you been keeping up with it? Yeah, the, especially the jump rope portion of it because I have a little nine-year-old and she loves to do it right in the kitchen. Are you so any good at it? I'm awful at it and I want to get better at it, but it's like anything else, it takes practice. Let me show what's happening in your body. This is why hit's sort of cool. It's ideas that are like this that actually make me so confident we have complete power over this energy issue. So when you're doing these kinds of activities like this, high intensity for small periods of time, it turns out that the actual cells in your body, they make more of these energy factories. It's these functioning factories that make a deposit into your energy bank. Whereas a lot of these extra products that we throw in our bodies, the, the caffeine in particular, they give you the sense of energy. You don't get drowsy, but when that chemical wears off, you crater because you don't actually have real energy producing factories in your body. Now you used to drink lots of those big cups of coffee, right? How do you compare that effect to the effect you're getting from the HIT exercises? Oh, I just think exercise in general always makes you feel good. Does it last longer for you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. A measurable difference like that's what I'm interested yeah. in. We've been following my energy experts as they drove around, giving better pick-me-ups to unsuspecting people during peak afternoon slump hours. And they ended up running into some women who usually grab a sugary snack in the afternoon. Next up, we met some ladies who wanted a healthier snack alternative for their mid-afternoon slump. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Okay, so of course you also crave some real physical energy because we know we need to eat every few hours to keep our energy up. We want to have a combination of protein and fiber. Protein keeps you satisfied and fiber keeps you full. The combination of those things is going to give you this sort of time release effect of energy. So I have some goodies for you right here. So here is a turkey jerky, a healthy turkey jerky and veggies. So you're getting protein, you're getting a little fiber in the veggies right there. And I'm gonna give you some nuts and dried fruit. You're getting protein and fiber and healthy fat in the nuts and the dried fruit, some fiber. And we've got some nut butter and apples in there. So you're getting, again, the protein and the fiber. I'll give you some nuts back. Yeah. Yeah. Right here, we've got some eggs for your hard boiled you. eggs with lots of good protein. Again, some fiber in the All veggies. Right. What about me? And Mr. Mike over there, you're getting that. Yeah. <laughs> turkey. turkey. So, when you're in that afternoon slump, instead of having that sugar crash, a combination of the protein and the fiber is going to keep you nice and satisfied and full with a good, steady release of energy. You'll be feeling great all Thank afternoon. You. Thank you. And not yeah, going to dinner good. starving. How good is that? Yeah, very good. <laughs> So Benedicta is here. What is it about the afternoons that make you, makes you so darn tired? Because everyone's complaining about the same thing. Yeah, well, I start my day extremely early. I have three young kids. I have twin girls whose birthdays today, Alina today? and Talia. Today, oh, Alina and Talia, are. they turn six. Congratulations, that is and wonderful. I have, and I have two-year-old, the boss of the house. So between the twins and the baby, and I just opened up a new restaurant in Montclair. So between <laughs> the twins, all. You have no the time. restaurant, it's a busy day. So I go from morning to night, all day long. So this combo that you were told about, protein with fiber, which you can make in many different ways. You've Correct. been trying it, has it worked for you? It's definitely been working. It gives me more energy. It keeps me going for a longer period. So and, just, um, this is how you make it, right? But yes. you, do you eat this all day long, just once in the afternoon? I mean, a couple of times a day, especially in the afternoon when I'm feeling a little bit hungry, a little bit perkish, a little uh, protein right. bar with tea time. Well, I things. trust you since you got a restaurant, so t teach me a little bit about this. Okay, how do you make so it? typically it's a couple of the ingredients, which are the oats. Just dump it all in a bowl. The granola. Mix it up a little bit. Mix everything together. And that was just graham crackers crushed. This is the almond, again, for your protein. Mix it together and... The honey's more for a little bit of the flavor and the sweetness, and you want it to like stick together a little bit. So you take these little babies and you, spo you, you scoop so them in? So basically, yes. Get it as clustered and stuck together as much. Pour it in and then you mold it together so it becomes into a little ball. I let it sit or put it in the freezer and you can move to some music, a little shake, a little dance, like and you know, yeah, groove right. it, shake it. And this is what it looks like? That's, but that's they're, what it looks like when hard. it's done. Yeah, because it's in the fridge. Here, catch this over there. Catch it, catch it, don't drop. Nice job. One more time over here. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and it actually tastes really good. Taste, let's see what Either with water, with tea. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. Nicely done. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.